Hello and welcome everyone, my name is Captain Frost and today we're gonna be looking at Venom Gyre build for Deadeye in Crucible League which is one of the most powerful builds currently, it's quite popular as well, it's very good with single target damage, it's very good with clearing uh, maps and even though that's a chaos based spell, uh, I mean skill, uh, it's an attack uh, it doesn't mean that we are using chaos damage in this particular situation, we're gonna be using elemental damage instead, so the chaos part, the physical parts uh, of the damage of our skill is not gonna be too much relevant for us. Um, yeah, so this uh, character has quite good defensive stats, it's not a one-shottable uh, glass cannon, even though it's not a biggest tank in the game as well. It has a bunch of damage, more than 16 million de DPS um, on uh, your pinnacle bosses, and you can probably uh, give it even, even more if you were to spend just a large chunks of uh, currency on it, but it's a very reliable build, it's quite strong, it's quite good in uh, current meta as well. So yeah, I guess uh, let's go for our pub, and here you can see all the stats of the character that are present. Um, yeah, you can see here all our DPS, you can see that we have um, near 30, 38, uh, 37k effective hit pool. We have a bunch of armor, we have a bunch of evasion rating, which will smooth out the physical damage that can come in us. Uh, we have, uh, of course, yeah, some elemental uh, defenses as well, spell suppression, um, you can 100% easy get it to 100%, uh, but here it is 99%, and even some block chunks on top of it which will make your defensive defensive la layers be very consistent be very powerful and with the abundance of damage that you have on this character uh, against a single target or against uh, aoe you probably wouldn't really have any problems on it especially on softcore uh, so yeah i guess let's just go for the um, build rundown um, of its talent tree, then we're gonna go for jewels, skills and items and maybe some tips of how to get it going uh, with a bit ch like cheaper versions. So this build uses Omnisia, um, crystallized omniscience, uh, it's a unique uh, amulet, onyx amulet that, that is um, quite, uh, it's quite expensive uh, and you probably don't really need it in order to uh, get the build going, you will have uh, just less damage, you wouldn't really have to spend so much effort on getting um, your uh, just stat modifiers on gear, your int intelligence, your strength, your uh, dexterity, and that's gonna... So um, anyways, Omniscience is very powerful, it is very good, but you still can play without it, with, uh, with no problem, you don't need so much penetration, uh, unless you're going for the highest uh, difficulty, con uh, difficulty content against highest bosses or like high delirious maps and stuff. So um, it's, yeah, it, it is very powerful, especially for the elemental penetration that it gives, uh, which uh, if you're farming for this build, you don't really need. So yeah, this build will definitely work without crystallized omniscience. But um, even said so, the amulet here really works well with the character. So yeah, I guess let's go with our uh, and look at our build. Uh, so as you can see here, we're starting as Ranger, we're going for Deadeye as Ascendancy. In the Deadeye we're taking Ricochet with, with skills chaining and skills bouncing off, heavy, having a chance to bounce off the terrain uh, and to chain uh, on, on other enemies, which is very very powerful. Um, we have Endless Munitions and that's just two extra projectiles. We have Gathering Winds uh, for your speed, for your Tailwind. Um, and we have focal point which increases your single target damage quite uh, quite a lot and it gives you some uh, bits of survivability as well. Uh, as I want to mention one additional thing here, um, this build uses utmost intellect so it doesn't really even anoint the uh, Vengeant Cascade uh, and it's probably not re you probably don't really need that uh, here as well so yeah it's uh, it's just a bit of a setback because a bunch of projectile based uh, skills or projectile based builds in this league uh, feel almost mandatory taking Vengeant Cascade but that's not the case with Venom Gyre 
uh yeah and let's go for the uh, let's go for the talents themselves so we we definitely take all the mana reservation efficiency that we possibly can we're getting um places for our uh, we're getting the here place for our unique jewel so you uh, can take this uh spot for your if you don't have thread of hope which is a specific place um right here because we can grab a bunch of very good passives uh without a need to travel to towards them so you can either um at, at lower levels you can either path uh towards your main uh, talents otherwise or you can just ignore maybe the socket if you don't really have good regular jewels while you don't have thread of hope yet uh, but when we uh, got it, it's a it's an ideal place for it to be, uh, and that's a thread of hope with massive uh, ring. So it's uh, yeah, it's biggest uh, AOE that you can possibly imagine for a jewel to have and for this um, modifier to have. Uh, yeah, then we're um, just with our like regular modifiers. What are we taking? We're taking life. We're taking. Uh, elemental damage 100% we're trying to take as much spell suppression that we can possibly get especially from this big juicy plus 10% plus 15% uh, that are near the ranger start uh, then we're going for additional life more crit strike chance uh, crit strike multiplier crit for melee as well we're, ge we're getting this plus one projectile uh, multi-shot uh, big node as well uh, then we're going for uh, a bunch of uh, other elemental damage uh, yeah we do have this elemental mastery hits have 25 percent ch chance to treat enemy monster elemental resistance values as inverted um, then we ha we're taking again uh, more projectile attacks, uh, having crit strike, uh, crit, crit strike chance, crit strike multi, um, some stats and these uh, modifiers you need, these talents you need only when you're using uh, crystallized omniscience. If you don't need, if you don't have uh, it yet, you don't really need to stack stats, especially dexterity. There is no, it's not a dexterity stacking based build. Um, yeah, so you don't really need to take it if you are not. Uh, if you're not using omniscience yet and then we're taking some uh, for our uh, we're taking some uh, talents for our marks as well we're ta we, have, we have here killing strike uh, marked enemy can regenerate life which will be useful against some uh, enemies that like to spawn consecrated ground or just have baseline big uh, re re regeneration rate but probably with your damage it's not uh, that that's not mandatory at all uh, then we see here that we are taking uh, just uh, we see here lethal pride uh, yeah and we're taking our claws um, our claws uh, talents uh, that are again uh, giving us some damage some attack speed and uh, give us more crit strike and crit chance uh, and even though we're here taking some talents for the daggers uh, as you can see here we have uh, only a regular shield and we have only a claw and these talents they are good for your elusive buff uh, this here we have uh, increased effect of elusive and this is one of the um, biggest uh, things here elusive also grants 40 percent to a critical strike multiplier for skills supported by nightblade and our main uh, six link have nightblade in it if we're we're constantly gaining elusive and that's the main um, the main part why are we even taking this dagger notes even though we don't really use daggers themselves and as we're using lethal, lethal pride here which gives uh, our talents in range additional qualities uh, then like here we have at least some strength we have some movement speed that we can uh, it's it's somewhat uh, even like this little notes they're still somewhat useful for us especially with little pride and the yes the mastery here is vital and important and increased elusive effect and chance to deal double damage are very good as well uh, then more life um, some additional maximum uh, frenzy charges uh, and that's mostly it with uh, baseline uh, skills that we have uh, then if we were to look at our uh, if we were to look at our uh, cluster jewels, uh, 
or regular jewels first so yeah probably let's go for the regular jewels first uh, we're starting with thread of hope so thread of hope it uh, minuses you some of resistances but it uh, gives you an, an ability to allocate your uh, any nodes uh, in this range so not in all sir in, not in all big circle but in, only in like this part of the circle and there are a bunch of them different that have massive big ring small ring uh, re regular ring um, yeah but here we we're into inter interested in massive one uh, we can get a bunch of life we can get uh, more speed attack speed movement speed we're, ta we're taking here even small mode node for eight percent mana reservation efficiency which is massive again more life um, more crit and uh, damage and even like yeah with little pride it's even some percentage stat which is very good for our amnesians uh, then we're going for some additional damage, uh, cast speed, uh, here we have additional penetration which stacks very very good with Omniscience and we see here uh, just a bunch of spell suppression and movement speed. So yeah, as you can see this one is very efficient so you want it uh, if you can afford it. Uh, then with uh, our other jewel we've already saw Lethal Pride here and yeah that's that's it with with them uh, without cluster jewels then for our cluster jewels as you can see we're taking claw uh, damage claw uh, multiplier oriented claw modifier oriented uh, cluster jewels um, with attack skills fire and additional projectile while wielding a claw or dagger which is massive and uh, feel the fight just a, your regular uh, damage increase attack speed increase some some leech as well and see uh, here we have um, something similar yeah feed the fury again just re regular damage a bunch of attack speed and some leech uh, with f and we're finishing everything with regular uh, abyssal jewels uh, that give us um, uh, some flat uh, elemental damage um, and maximum life and here we have uh, medium jewels as you see uh, so yeah uh, we do have here uh, medium jewels that uh, give us projectile uh, modifiers and these projectile modifiers are projectile damage and uh, deal again deal increased damage with hits against nearby enemies so yeah uh, even more projectile damage um, more projectile I mean increased projectile damage but yeah that's the wording with path of exile is uh, sometimes can uh, quite confusing so yeah uh, just a bunch of damage increases then of course watcher's eye that gives us uh, increased crit strike chance um, while we're affected um, as you can see we're using wrath here so this modifier will work and it increases our crit strike chance by a bunch and we have additional crit multi while we're using precision and we're using pre precision as well and then with our last uh, but not least uh, unique a jewel that you can get the interrogation secrets of suffering so here it is cannot ignite chill freeze or shock critical strikes inflict scorch brittle uh, and sap so yeah this is what we're uh, getting as well um, which uh, may or may not be uh, to be honest i'm not really uh, that aware of pricing of the jewel uh, but yeah this is what we're finalizing uh, our build with in terms of your jewels and in terms of your talent tree uh, then let's go for our skill gems so uh, commandment of fire it's just a uh, thing on your gloves it's not important so our main six thing is uh, your venom gyre fork trinity elemental damage with attacks night blade and inspiration so basically elemental damage is obvious um, straight up multiplier inspiration will make your uh, skill cheaper and it will give you again a more additional crit and uh, damage multiplier uh, your night blade is one of the um, just main stuff that you can get here it gives you uh, it gives you elusive it gives you crit strike uh, it's very very good um, yeah and it it's just like it's 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 just essential here uh, then we have trinity which gives us additional elemental penetration and just more damage and fork for our venom gyre to spread to be more of them um, yeah that will work miraculously with your uh, ability then we have as our regular skills berserk yeah we, we are we are generating reach and berserk is just a good 
active skill for you to use. Uh, we have Flame Dash as our um, just quick, fast uh, blink uh, skill if, and spell, yeah, here. If you need to get out of trouble very, very fast. And Blood Rage, which will generate us uh, some frenzy charges. It will give us additional attack speed and stuff. Uh, with our main mana reservation, we have Anger, Determination and Wrath with Enlighten. So yeah, without Enlighten, you probably wouldn't really be able to squeeze out all the reservation that we have because we have uh, additionally Precision as well. Uh, but with Enlighten, with all the mana reservation that we that we have available for us, you can squeeze all this damage and determination in. Uh, you can probably skip some of the damage or defenses if you want to. Uh, so either Wrath or Anger, you can uh, skip. Uh, you can just uh, if you don't have enough reservation efficiency, just drop them. Uh, don't use them. If you if you're dropping Wrath, probably you need to uh, not really use your uh, Watcher's Eye with a mod on it because it wouldn't do any thing and that's this way you can um, purchase uh, some cheaper ones uh, so yeah this is our aura setup uh, then we have sniper mark uh, mark on hit with enhance so it gives us additional quality in here so yeah that's your gonna be your curse which will just multiply your damage and be applic um, and it will apply its effect uh, automatically then we have ancestral process uh, protector as our main attack speed um, bonus totem stuff and then precision um, more crit uh, additional crit strike chance and accuracy rating but as you can see here we're not leveling it up which means that it reserve it, it reserves just a small amount of our mana because we can't really squeeze in even more uh, but we're still um, benefiting from it um, 20 percent increased crit strike is good but plus uh, additional crit multi from our watcher's eye that's what make uh, that what makes this reservation be so good uh, yeah, and probably without Watcher's Eye, it's yeah, it 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 it's still gonna be pretty good even with 20% uh, increased critical strike chance, especially if you can um, integrate it for free in your build. Um, yeah, then we have our custom damage taken Immortal Call, so just your additional less damage taken uh, from every source. Um, yeah, that's gonna be your defensive uh, cooldown. And then we have with custom critical strike, uh, we have our Whirling Blade. Uh, that get generates us a bit of rage by itself while we while we're using it and uh, again with venom gyre the mechanic is your whirling blades they are proking your venom your stacked venom gyres and stuff uh, so it's very good and we have uh, divergent here which increases our evasion rating while we're moving um, yeah with rage we're gonna generate some rage and we're gonna create we're gonna um, critically strike with whirling blades probably almost all with all the time the crit strike chance is very high and that is gonna proc tornado and tornado is gonna even is gonna multiply your damage of your venom gyre things even more uh, so that yeah that's when it comes what it comes to your skills and then we have our items here uh, so with items we're going for as much uh, straight up as much um, elemental uh, dps uh, as you possibly can get on your imperial claw as you can see here some stats as well but it's mostly it, it it's yeah it's it's uh, mostly a um your um, critical strike your local increase of critical strike chance and you have some stats which is good for omniscience as well hits can be evaded very very valuable without it you need some accuracy uh, and just yeah and just uh, as much uh, LED DPS as possible uh, then we have your um, your shield with life chance to avoid elemental ailments which will be very very uh, good for you for your defenses uh, as much just dexterity as possible um, yeah, and some stats, dexterity or intelligence, it doesn't really matter because we're stacking omniscience here. Um, then with our helmet, uh, again, stats, uh, life, mana reservation efficiency, plus one to gems, uh, and the base itself gives us uh, flat cold. Uh, your hits uh, treat cold resistance as 10% higher than actual value, but that's not really, uh, we don't really care about it because we have omniscience and it penetrates everything uh, when it comes to enemy resistances and we don't really care about that but ab about almost 100 uh, flat cold damage we really care and it gives us just a bunch of damage and we have enchant here for venom gyre to keep um, uh, caught projectiles fired with whirling blades additional um, yeah then we have our um, our body body armor which gives us suppressed chance uh, a bunch of armor and evasion rating some some resistances avoid elemental ailments uh, and life. 
Uh, with Wrath Increase Aura, yeah, so there is just a regular, your defenses and suppression uh, and uh, resistances if possible. Then on Gloves we have um, Rage Generation, which is quite convenient. Again, some, ch some uh, sp uh, spell suppression, again, some stats for our Omniscience in order to have enough stacks of Omniscience to, for everything to work. Uh, where do I have our gloves? Yeah, some attack speed uh, and life and and yeah, damage as possible if you can squeeze it in. Uh, then with our boots we have more, even more stats, elusive effect, action speed increases, uh, some chaos resistance uh, onslaught because yeah, it's gonna be uh, just very very um, convenient for us to generate on slot on kill, out automated without any flask uh, slot required. Then we have our crystallized omniscience, which you can use. You can you can build this character without it. It will be strong. It will have a bunch of damage. It will have a bunch of defenses. It just wouldn't have uh, this large amount of elemental penetration that you need for your end game activities. And then you can farm for your crystallized omniscience. But while you're doing it, you will you keep in mind that you will have to re-craft your gear, remake your character from the ground up in order to have all these high stat values, in order to have enough omniscience to uh, keep your elemental resistances good uh, and keep your uh, just yeah just for everything to work with uh, with crystallized omniscience. Then with ring, we of course have non-channeling skills have minus seven to total cost mana cost. That's why it costs only four mana, and that's why we can use it with only twenty six unreserved mana available for us. Uh, then we have our resistances again a bunch of a freaking bunch of stats uh, some uh, additional chance to avoid elemental ailments but that's a synthesized uh, mod that sh that is not um, it's not required for you to have it but if you can get enough uh, elemental elemental ailments uh, avoidance then you can be immune to freeze shock and uh, ignite which is very very useful and it's very good uh, defense wise uh, then on our belt we just have regular increases to damage, if we can squeeze it in, a bunch of stats and maximum life. Uh, and as you can see here, it's it has increased the dexterity uh, as a... Um, yeah, you, you see here it's, uh, it's a synthesized, uh, again, leather belt, which will be probably just very very expensive uh and you don't really need that it just uh, you just need to know that you have uh, that you need to have enough omniscience for your your character to work so if you don't have this percentage increase here maybe you can get it uh, in some other places and sacrifice some other stats for that uh, so yeah, then with our flasks we have Divine Flask, Divine uh, Life Flask uh, with immunity to bleeding and Corrupted Blood. But Corrupted Blood probably you just want to have on your regular jewels, otherwise you can probably die to Corrupted Blood uh, quite fast and not even see that. So yeah, uh, have a Corrupted Implicit on your uh, regular jewels. Then we have Jade Flask, we have Granite Flask for your armor, for your evasion rating. Uh, and yeah, chance to gain a Flask Charge when you deal a Critical Strike will be just will work just incredibly well and you will forever forget about your flasks existing you will always have its uh this flasks up especially if with we used with used when uh, charges reach full so what they will use automatically you will fill them up quite fast uh, yeah then diamond flask for additional crit strike chance and bottle faith which is again it will be a massive damage boost but you don't really need it 100 percent in order for build to work it's just a massive damage multiplier you can use here sulfur flask you can use here onslaught fast flask if you don't have uh your uh, onslaught boots you can use here uh, some any any other defensive flasks uh, or maybe some unique ones as well so yeah with uh, with what you need to keep in mind is with your rare uh, items without omniscience especially it's easier to build these uh, items uh, first you don't need as much flat stats you just need to keep in mind that you have to be um, it's it's good for you to be spell suppress capped uh, it's good for you to have as much evasion and armor uh, as possible. It's good for uh, you definitely need to cap your resistances. Uh, and you want to have uh, as big of a elemental DPS uh, claw as possible. And that's it with this build. It's all straightforward. It's not really hard. You probably want your 
non-channeling skills having uh, like minus mana but it's not uh, it's not rocket science this build is quite straightforward and it's it's easy understandable it's good when you're playing it uh, even on lower like uh, or on, on, on lower investment uh, levels and it's just gonna be enjoyable for you uh, yeah joyful I, I don't care um, yeah hope you're having a good day um, I hope you enjoyed the video as well uh, if you did, then definitely subscribe uh, to the channel because there's going to be more content like this. Uh, have a good day. Goodbye.